Hi all, and welcome to this video. The topic of this class is Deliver Tenure Security for All. Secure property rights and efficient land administration systems are essential for modern economies. Tenure security provides people with legally registered rights to their properties, lands, and homes, ensuring clear rights to occupy, use, and control the land they own. Unfortunately, only 30% of the global population has legally registered rights for their properties, which means that more than 5 billion people worldwide do not have documented land rights. This problem results in a number of consequences that are often at the root of poverty and inequality, leading to legal conflicts, unequal economic systems, and lack of assets, challenging effective and democratic governance principles. The 2030 Agenda recognizes the fundamental role of land right security in several target and indicators under SDG 1, 2, 5, 11, 15, and 16. The correct registration of land tenure rights directly impact food security, environmental sustainability, and the advance of women's empowerment worldwide. In many countries, the land is communally owned, but tenure insecurity is often the product of the government's inability to respond to the technical regularization needs. Significant efforts are needed to formalize land ownership for the poor and vulnerable, which is advocated in particular by the Target 1.4 of the SDG Agenda. Strategies to support tenure security rely on developing effective land administration systems. However, we need innovation for fast, accurate, and cost-effective cadastral mapping. The traditional surveying methods are costly, slow, and labor-intensive. In response to these challenges, the concept of fit-for-purpose land administration was recently introduced focusing on the development of new technologies based on Earth's observation to delineate visible cadastral boundaries. Visible cadastral boundaries can be extracted from satellite, aerial, or UAV images, largely reducing costs and time. Machine learning methods allow us to extract the visible cadastral boundaries in an automated or semi-automated manner. We have been working on cadastral boundary extraction for many years here in ITC. And as an example, I want to mention the study of the master's student, Bedru Tareke, who designed a deep learning approach to extract visible cadastral boundaries in Ethiopia. The country launched indeed in 2013, a land certification program aiming to register rural land, mainly in the highland regions of the country. For the study, we used aerial images of 29 centimeter resolution and UAV images with 11 centimeter resolution. This allowed us to compare the performance of the method depending on the spatial resolution of the input images. We also had access to reference cadastral boundaries, which we have used for training and testing our method. We adopted a method based on frame field learning, originally introduced for building outline extraction. Such a method uses UNET as the backbone network to learn simultaneously a mask of the parcels, the edges, and the frame field, which contains information about the orientation of the edges. The information learned in the first stage is then used to obtain regularized polygons of cadastral parcels using an active contour model. More on the technical details of the method in the reference at the bottom of the slide. Here you see a summary of the experimental results that we obtained. The frame field learning model applied to UAV images obtained the highest accuracy with the 
a low value of the polys metric, which measure the deviation of the predicted polygons from the reference, and a higher value of the mean intersection over union. The results obtained using the aerial images are slightly inferior, mostly because of the lower resolution of the data. As you can observe in the qualitative example in the figure on the right side, the results obtained from aerial image tend to under-segment the cadastral parcels. Moreover, the results obtained without using the frame field learning strategy are less accurate, confirming the effectiveness of FFL, frame field learning, in improving the accuracy and regularity of the extracted polygons. A short conclusion. All in all, deep learning offers uh, very promising results for extracting cadastral boundaries from Earth observation data automatically. Nevertheless, more effort should be devoted to designing cost-effective strategy in support of land administration systems. Moreover, it is important to observe that not all cadastral boundaries are visible in Earth observation images. Therefore, full automation is not feasible. Nevertheless, efficient semi-automated interactive systems with the users in the loop could greatly reduce the costs and time for cadastral mapping. New developments are expected to improve deep learning architectures to extract regularized polygons or poly polylines of cadastral binaries. A limitation often encountered in deep learning applications is the lack of large benchmark datasets. This is something we are currently working on. And the transferability from country to country, and especially from data rich to data poor areas, in a, is an aspect that requires more attention. This concludes uh, this short video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.